In this video, I'm going to show you how to work with the loft command. Just as an example, I've created an ellipse and two circles that are sort of floating in space. When you use the loft command, what you would do is type in loft, and in the order that you'd like this form to be made, you pick the objects that would be part of the loft, and the command generates a three-dimensional form using those cross sections. Now for the example exercise, um, what we'll be doing is creating what's called a stringer. And it's the structure that wraps around the edges of a stair. If you have a straight run stair, it's the, it's the sort of end of the stair that supports all the treads. But since this is curved, we'll use the loft function to do this. So what we'll do is create rectangular profiles at each edge of the treads, and then with the loft, we'll connect them into a single form. So what we'll be doing is constructing rectangles at each of these stair nosings, and once they're all completed, we'll, we'll generate a, a surface from them. But before beginning to do that, you need to reset the user coordinate system. Right now, the user coordinate system is set to world, and what I need to do is align it with the face of the tread. So I'm going to type in UCS, and I'm going to use the three-point method. Type in three and press enter. It'll ask me for an origin point, and I'm going to snap to this point on my tread. It'll ask me for a positive portion of the x-axis, so I'm going to pull the cursor over to the right. It'll ask me for a positive um, point along the y-axis, so I'm going to go upward and pick a point. And so as you can see, the UCS has now been set to a relationship to the face. Now I'm ready to make a rectangle. So I type in rectangle, I snap to that origin point, and I'll give it a thickness of 0.75, enter comma, and then it'll go 10 units downward, so minus 10. All right, so you can repeat that same process going around the stair. You can also work with the polar array as you had done previously. So as you can see, I've completed all of the rectangles at the edges of the stringers, or at the edges of the treads. Um, also, you might want to make a different layer with an, a unique color, uh, just so you can easily identify the objects that you've drawn, and you can also put other things on that on other layers and turn them off just for the purposes of clarifying and making it more visible. Now we can use the loft command to form the stringer. Type in loft and begin to select each one of the rectangles in order um, as they ascend the stair. If you need to sort of spin around the stair as you draw, I recommend using the Orbit tool. But you want to stay within the command as you do this. So as you can see, it sort of helps to have um, a unique color for the stringer. Makes it a little easier to pick the objects. almost at the top. Okay, there it is, to the top of the stair. Now keep in mind that you need to press enter at the end and it will complete the function, the operation. And here you can see it in the conceptual visual style should look something like that. 